Some of the people of Jerusalem said, Isn't this the man the authorities are trying to kill? Look, he is talking in public, and they say nothing against him. Can it be that they really know that he is the Messiah? But when the Messiah comes, no one will know where he is from. And we all know where this man comes from. As Jesus taught in the temple, he said in a loud voice, Do you really know me? And know where I am from? I have not come on my own authority. He who sent me, however, is truthful. You do not know him, but I know him. Because I come from him. And he sent me. Then they tried to seize him. But no one laid a hand on him, because his hour had not yet come. But many in the crowd believed in him. When the Messiah comes, will he perform more miracles than this man has? <laughs> the Pharisees heard the crowd whispering these things about Jesus. So they and the chief priests sent some guards to arrest him. I shall be with you a little while longer. And then I shall go away to him who sent me. You will look for me, but you will not find me. Because you cannot go where I will be. The Jewish authorities said among themselves, where is he about to go so that we shall not find him? Will he go to the Greek cities where our people live and teach the Greeks? He says that we will look for him, but will not find him. And that we cannot go where he will be. What does he mean? On the last and most important day of the festival, Jesus stood up and said in a loud voice, Whoever is thirsty should come to me. And whoever believes in me should drink. As the scripture says, streams of life-giving water will pour out from his side. Jesus said this about the Spirit, which those who believed in him were going to receive. At that time, the Spirit had not yet been given, because Jesus had not been raised to glory. Some of the people in the crowd heard him say this. This man is really the prophet! The Messiah will not come from Galilee. The scripture says that the Messiah will be a descendant of King David and will be born in Bethlehem, the town where David lived. So there was a division in the crowd because of Jesus. Some wanted to seize him, but no one laid a hand on him. When the guards went back, the chief priests and Pharisees asked them, why did you not bring him? Nobody has ever talked the way this man does. Did he fool you, too? Have you ever known one of the authorities or one Pharisee to believe in him? This crowd does not know the law of Moses. So they are under God's curse. One of the Pharisees there was Nicodemus, the man who had gone to see Jesus before. According to our law, we cannot condemn people before hearing them and finding out what they have done. Well, are you also from Galilee? <laughs> Study the scriptures, and you will learn that no prophet ever comes from Galilee. 